Well, I think we've made major steps, taken major steps uh, this year. I mean, we've got a lot of experienced kids that know the coaches. Uh, we've kept the whole coaching staff intact. Um, they know what the, the, what we expect of them, and uh, they're putting in the time in the off season. That's the one thing that I think was lacking here for years. But now, you know, we have probably 30, 35 kids that are in the weight room all the time, all summer long, ever since spring uh, they're constantly in the weight room and we do have a strength and conditioning coach that really makes it all possible big season coming up for Fredonia especially you this is your senior year what are you looking to accomplish this year um, first of all have a winning season and make it to the playoffs last year's we didn't make the playoffs but last year we had a winning season but you know the COVID season kind of messed us up I'm not blaming on that we could have, a lot, we could have done a lot better in the season but definitely have a winning season and easily make the playoffs and be like top five in second six. What was the main? First, we just got to work on like holding everyone to a high standard. No matter where you stand in the roster, like if you're one, two, three receiver, like you're always running, you're running your reps, you're getting your reps, you're getting better. And it just makes us like a better team. Because for me, like having a good scout team is like yeah. everything. Like they know the other team. Like our scout team should know the other opponent better than our starters team, that, in my eyes. Because basically, just grinding in the weight room. We went to camps all summer, college coaches helping us out, making us better, just getting bigger, faster, stronger. There we go. Let's say our line, we got four of the five starters back. Um, we have depth on the line. Um, it's not like they're all big, but they're all very strong. They've all been in the weight room, every one of them. Uh, and, you know, I, I think our receiving core, we lost some really good ones, but filling in with an Ethan Fry, who's a backup quarterback, who's really good there. He's so athletic. Uh, having a Devon McCall and a Brandon Ronsky back and Simon Davis. So I think we're pretty solid receivers. And, of course, you know, Nick uh, Whitfield, third year, I mean, you can't beat it. Uh, he's already been offered a Division One scholarship. Uh, and, you know, the real catalyst of our team is Matt Lauder as a back and a, a uh, middle linebacker, and uh, he will hit everything. So.